What are you doing dancing over here? Round and round the city clock, the wyvern chased the eagle. The birdie stopped to catch his breath. Down came the eagle. I wonder if I can figure out this car. It's always got some new song. Jack and amateur twitcher. Uh, I'm so confused by you, boy. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh well. Good morning, guys. How's it going? It's Arcuzu Five, and welcome back. Last time we were, we just finished up the fight with Bahamut. And there was some trouble in this village. They had a bit of a monster problem, so to speak. So we've just taken care of that. Now we're on to Northreach. Because there things are happening over there. So if you like the content, like and subscribe. Alright, let's do this. And total got a treat because I felt like it. <laughs> anyway, let's Carry on, guys. Carry on. Was wondering when you turn up. Hello, from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nation's still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So... Right. Clive, we knew this was gonna happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. <laughs> Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you. Even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You are special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit, but they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. 
Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. It is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you. With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. <coughs> Joshua. <coughs> Clive, it's Gav. <coughs> There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. <laughs> well, what's the short of it? Uh, Talk, Tyre told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No, but they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Mm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian. What's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But, thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, we travel together. Clive! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you, brother. I'll look after him. My attendant was with me in the Dominion before I primed. She would have watched the battle unfold and witnessed its outcome. I trust you'll be waiting for me in Tabor, where I can finally introduce you. Press on. We can use yep. the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the echoes have a will of their own. Okay.
No, oh, wonderful. More laser guys. Excellent. Tell us about Yote, Joshua. She's strong willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. Very well. Get out of my way, bird. Another side quest? Alright, let's do it quickly. You're injured. What happened here? Where are your comrades? Ether flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this. Turned. Every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand the chance. We can't let those monsters reach the <laughs> I'll go. You catch your breath. Thank you. Our encampment is up ahead. Just off the track. <laughs> they must not reach Tabor. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord Kuga. Rest well, soldier. He said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. More cash figure. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Very wonderful. I got here in time. Zombie ah! chocobo. Ah! Ah! Zombie. Someone there! Please, I, 
I can't move my leg. That doesn't sound like an Akashic. Where is he? Is he behind the rock? Oh, he's over there. You're with the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. seem familiar have we met you must have me confused with someone else you're Sid I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander my war with Hugo Kuka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. What of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! If you insist. Fine. If you insist. Time to die. For Tyson! state to fight and this should be easy for you come on kill me for what the sins of your master you and I have no quarrel and I will not strike a man who cannot defend himself no <laughs> I won't be deceived Lord Kupka told us of your crimes you are an outlaw a murderer, not some... Some... Man... Like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not gonna kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. Whenever you're ready. You will regret not killing me when you had a chance, Sid. I will avenge my master. Whenever you're ready, punk, we'll fight to the death. Till then, cheerio. We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here in Tabor. Not like me, anyway. Hmm. There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within.
My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events of Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Einherjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails up at one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened hulls choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. How dare you? Distinguished members of the council. You must forgive his majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashic. is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons! <laughs> yeah. 
Enough. Still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, Your Majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. So then... How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Naught remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. The figure in the center. The one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omiya lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Well, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote.
Let's find our friends. She cares for you very deeply. And I her, which is why I had to let her go. More side quests. Opportunity Yay. beckons. Who among you is bold enough? Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade that an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Korava. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity. But those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. A hide you want to sell? Eventually, yes. Though, I would have it tanned first that it might be crafted into marvels the likes of which the world has never seen. Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast? Now, that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Bring me that beast's skin and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labors. All right, I'll hunt your Evis. Of course you will. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip his grasp. Leave Tabor through the East Gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, you are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Karava. I eagerly await your safe and above all triumphant return. Cyril, how fair is the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril. Knight of the Undying and bearer of the Burning Quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of his grace, Joshua Rosfield. Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many Undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is, and has ever been, our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. A phoenix down, yes. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you, if there is nothing further. No, you are dismissed. Your grace. The canva then. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> Cyril seemed very.
You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. Phoenix Down is a Easter egg from Final Fantasy. It's how you use to revive people when your party members are downed in combat. You have we go in this house? Without your medicines and your wisdom, Tabor would be but a shadow of itself. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Sure, this is the right way, brother. Ready, girl? Yeah! Don't question what I'm doing, brother. Oh, ha, ha. Kick him in the face. Thanks, girl. Little overkill, but that's all right. Better luck next time. Guys, this is unexpected. A bit of a kill, but it all worked out in the end. Oh, wonderful. off my hands the better 
Yes, yes. Here's your I worry. Oh, that's clearly my truck. Join me as my I don't plan on making very well. Do not allow. Wonderful. Come on. Oh, look. Insist. Straight home now. That's how we deal with orcs. Just like that. Boom shakalaka. More orcs that is hanging around. Leveled up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Run like the wind. Clive, smoke. Is the city fallen? They can be good. The free men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it right there for now. Uh, that concludes my part 28. Mainly just uh, catching up with old characters and learning some more backstory. We'll continue on in part 29. It's our cruise of five. And you like the content, like and subscribe. Later.